Hi, this is Lebidam45 with you guys again. Um, I'm just making a quick video because House of Ink Houston um, posted a video today that she had bought this nifty knitter, which is something like this one I have. I have the boil, which is this one. Where's where's the camera? This one? This one? Um, but it's basically the same thing. They, they, they work the same way. Um, here I had, I had, actually yesterday I had just started mine, so I'm in the process of doing a scarf, and I'm only using one one side of the of the loom. You can use there's a form a technique to use both sides. So I'll just want to show you um, how to how to use well one side what it is with one side. So this little thing, which if I'm not wrong, yours has it here on the side, is your guide as to where you start so you can like anchor your your yarn here okay you just do a little knot like this and and you put it here to secure it there and then you just keep on um casting on your your thread here okay so i'm not going to use this one because i'm going to be using the other side so that you can see it but basically what you do is once you have it cast on and you can use as many of these um, pegs as you want. I did it long because I wanted it a, a wider scarf because I'm only doing it one, one, I'm not using both sides so it's a little bit thin. Um, but what you do, basically what you do, let me see if I can do this, okay, is you have your anchored here and basically you go around your your peg and you keep going around and around and around each one of them up to this length you want if you want it the whole way around you get it the whole way around if you don't you just do it you know up to where you want it once you have your first row you lower all your your pegs okay because in the first round only the first one, when you cast on, you have to do two, two rounds at the same time. On the, from the third on, you only have to have cast one because you already have one row on. So then you do the same thing. But here, if I go around completely, I have three on my peg and I only need two. So what I do is from here, I go around here and then I go this way. On this side, you go the reverse because you need to always have your thread on the back side. You just wrap it around, wrap it around each one of them until you get to the other end. Once you're at your end, you hold your, your thread, okay? Just hold it here and with your tool that comes in your box, this tool, you just take and I have to hold it here because I don't have it anchored. Neither of these are anchored and you just pull it over, okay? You just come and you pull it over. You might think you're not doing it right, but as long as you do it like that, you are doing it right. This thread, there's too much space. This thread is too thin. When you use this, like a four size thread um, yarn, you need to do it double because if not, it's going to come out too thin. With the one I'm using, since it's a size five yarn, which your, whoops, this one came out. Something happened here. Whoops. Okay, that's not good. Okay, let's just skip this through. This one came out. It's it shouldn't anyway, I'll fix it. It'll it'll get fixed on the second and the third round. Don't worry about that. Okay, once you finish your first round, then you do the same thing with your next round. You come back here again and then you automatically go like this all the way around again. And basically, this is all you have to do. Okay, just cast on. Once you finish here, 
See, you always have, you can't have more than two threads, two loops on your, on your pegs. On this one, you work this way, and then this way, then this way, then this way, back and forth, back and forth with two pegs, with two threads on your peg. This one is going to keep on coming out like that, but don't worry, it will catch on eventually. Okay, and you just keep going all the way to your first one. Okay, you lower them again. And then you cast on again. Okay. And this is basically all you have to do. Okay. And you go back and you keep on casting on and pulling over. There's a, a channel. I think I did two in this one. Yep. There's two there. This is not good. Anyways, all you have to do is that. Just keep on going over and over and back and over and this will grow eventually it will get like this there's a channel called um, good good knit kisses um, she does tutorials on how to use these looms and she is really good they're really good she has she uses this the circle one which I also have where you can do beanies and all that stuff and um, she has very good tutorials on this. She shows you how to use them. You could go check her channel out. And um, nothing. This is just basically everything you, you have to do. Just cast on and, and go over. Lower them and do the same thing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you get to the size you want. And if you want to put fringes, you can put the fringes at the end. So, nothing. This is it. Just wanted to show you. Um, this is not a perfect tutorial, as you saw by my mistakes. Things happen. Sorry about the noise, the background noise. There's a school bus just got in to leave the students. And um, you just keep on doing this. You just, and you have to be careful not to, you know, for them to come out. You just keep on like this, and you do this back and forth, back and forth, okay? Hope that helped you. Um, see you in another t moment. Um, God bless you. Bye-bye.